Welcome to another taste and experience with King Counters. Let's talk about it. Before we start, big shout out to uh, Bando Trap God for allowing us to do this sort of tasting experience. Um, and also a big shout out to Chris from Pudgy Pups, uh, who was the one who provided today's content. The item that we're going to be talking about is from Nightmare Brewing Company. These guys, wow, it's hard to find out where these guys are from, but they are over there. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Um, I hate to say this. Sometimes it's hard to read what's on here. As you guys can see, um, it is a little hard to read what's on here. But this one's called Defensestration of Prague. Um, and this is going to be, again, this is a little, little legible. It's unlegible. Uh, let's see here. Alcohol by volume or ABV is going to be 5.5 four percent now the thing with these guys' labels that make them really cool is every one of their beers is named after some way to die some way that you would kill a person they would name their beer after whatever that torture is to kill someone and then their labels are actually pretty graphic and this is throwing someone out of a building what it looks like it looks like they're throwing something out of the building but again I would love to read more if it, but it's like bleeding into the graphic. The the font is bleeding into the graphic and it makes it a little difficult to um talk about, which is, you know, a shame, but it is what it is. So first thing we're going to do is purge it. That's why you purge it. See that? See that? Got a little bit of goodness there. So we'll just go ahead and rack it carefully. Okay? Going to be a little careful here, filling this up. There we go. All right. Now that we've got that out of the way. <laughs> oh, man. What a night. <laughs> all right let's dive into the smell all right right off the bat smells like a real clean pilsner which is a lot to me a pilsner has way more body to the nose than a regular lager so it's multi um it has some sweet bready notes um a lot more citrus kickback and i'll go with on this one we're going to go with the lime and lemon zest it has much fuller um aromatics if that makes sense it's got a nice bouquet when you smell it it smells like like a beer you may know but it has a lot more um flavor to it and, and to the nose real clean and that's it it's just a really clean pilsner uh fragrance really nice smells like a nice beer that you would like to drink so let's dive in Okay, a little earthy. Um, it's got some great bitter notes. Um, it's thirst quenching. Um, is it crushable? No. I think the hops in this are going to stop you because of that bitterness. It's right in the back of the mouth towards the top. And it's kind of being aggressive. It wants to creep forward, but it won't because that, that toastiness is encompassing the whole mouth. And the malt is a little more um, present than the hops are now this is just a, a clean simple beer there's no crazy flavor profile there is no different nuances it's a nice clean pilsner and i would drink this over any mainstream pilsner now again i know you're like well you can't read the label who cares right i'm just trying to tell you what it was and i'm pretty sure i got the name of it wrong as well but who cares it's a great beer nightmare makes wonderful things um i was just making an observation on the labeling but hey come on if you're out here drinking things like budweiser and modello and all these other beers their labels are cr crash anyway you're like oh i gotta have that because that's what everyone else is drinking i prefer the obscured and the crazy and but this beer is just really clean 
If you find it, please get it, especially if you're a person who loves loggers. Pilsners are, are like better than just your base loggers. So if you're going to get into any beer and you're like getting into loggers, you definitely want to advance your palate to a, to a Pilsner. They're just way better. They pair like better than any beer with food. Um, I wouldn't cook with it, but definitely you want to, you know, pair your meals with it works with all sorts of dishes. And as you can see, the beer just looks really nice. And again, there's nothing crazy about it. Just a lot of good flavor. And with that said, I want to say thank you for um, having this experience with me. Cheers.